Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're going over some soccer tips for beginners, but it can definitely apply to you more advanced players or experienced players. And we're also going to be going how to play a little more like Lionel Messi as well. A seemingly impossible task. How do you start playing a little more like Lionel Messi? Well, we can take his best attributes and try and help you get better at those attributes. So that's what this video is going to be all about. Again, I know this is more targeted toward beginner players, but basically that means we're going to be going over some foundation skills. And like I always say, foundation skills are important for all players. So even if you're a more advanced or experienced player, don't worry, you can definitely get something out of this video. You probably actually will get a lot out of this video. Also guys, just a quick update. Once again, thank you so much for five. 5,000 subscribers. I won't go into too much of a gushy mode right now because I already thanked you all with a separate video. I just want to again express my gratitude and say that we will be doing something for it. We'll definitely at least be doing a Q&A and I want to do some other kind of special video that maybe even involves you guys as well. So once again, thank you so much. Also, for those of you who are curious about the course, um, which is actually a very funny way to string those words together because Curious.com is the course I'm doing or the website I'm doing it for. Um, I've been in contact with the people from the website and they told me that it'll probably be live in a week or so. Uh, I'm very sorry that I kind of announced it early and jumped the gun. I was just really excited because it was finished technically, um, but we're just kind of waiting to compile it all together, kind of make it look nice, I suppose, and then we'll have it to you, okay? So sorry for the delay, but that is coming very, very soon. So first, let me just tell you, um, for all those of you who doubt your ability, who think you suck, who uh, just don't think you're good players, many players have been in your boat. And the thing about soccer is if you don't believe in your own ability, you won't be able to succeed. If you become a player who believes in their ability and also puts in the time and the work on the training pitch, you can become a sensational player. And in fact, I've already been getting messages since starting this channel from numerous players who have, since watching my videos or other videos, have really just started working hard and started believing in themselves and started being confident. And guess what happened? They started becoming amazing players. I, I talked to a player who got signed by a professional youth team after just putting in the work and being confident in their ability. I've had players tell me that they scored a ton of goals, more goals than games they've played, which is sensational, and won trophies for their teams. I've heard, uh, heard players tell me they've made teams because of it. They've uh, you know upgraded to a better team. They've made colleges, they've made their high school, you know, whatever it may be. Um, and the two main things that caused them to be able to accomplish these things they probably didn't know they could accomplish is they believed in themselves and they put in the work and the effort and they implemented the advice I told them. They didn't just watch these videos and go, that sounds okay, that sounds like a good idea, and then go play video games. They watched these videos and then they took action. So I just want to start this off by saying, be an action taker, and have belief in yourself. Okay, anyway, that's a nice little rant to begin this video. Let's move on to some more content here. So the two skill areas I want you to be concentrating on, um, especially if you're a beginner, if you're a more advanced player, you should definitely be concentrating on these two areas as well. It's ball control and dribbling, and there's a very important reason you want to be concentrating on these two specifically. Ball control, number one, as many of you know, is the most foundation skill in all of soccer. If you can't control the ball, if you're not comfortable with the ball, you can't do anything else with the ball. I don't care what it is. Is if you can't control the ball, if you can't make the ball do what you want to do, do you think you can dribble? Do you think you're going to have the touch to be able to bring the ball out of the air? Do you think you're going to be able to pass it accurate, accurately? Are you, do you think you're going to be able to shoot well? Do you think you're going to have confidence in your ability? No. No, no, no. You need ball control first and then you branch out from there. So if you are someone who doesn't have good ball control, you need to start working on that. The good thing is, you can develop it pretty quickly if you work at it every single day, all right? Second thing, dribbling. Dribbling to me is a very underrated area. Even though a lot of players like it, I don't feel like players work enough on it. Now, dribbling and ball control are cool because they work off of each other. The better your ball control becomes, usually the better your dribbling becomes. And the better your dribbling becomes, usually the better your ball control becomes. They work together because they both involve touch and getting a lot of touches on the ball. When you're dribbling forward and moving with the ball, you're also getting more comfortable with touching the ball in a certain way as you move forward, which improves your ball control. When you are practicing your juggling or something, you're getting for a feel for the ball on the top, the side, and the outside of your foot, which can be used when you're dribbling. So these are two areas that work very well together. And the reason I want you to develop these two areas is because when you become good at these two areas, you can basically do 
almost anything within the game. I mean, you still have to work on other areas, but these are my two favorite areas to work on. So since I don't have any demonstrations for you today because of the weather and because it would make this video incredibly too long, uh, I'm going to provide you with some drills you can do down in the description. So make sure after you're done watching this video, go to the description, look where it says videos I mentioned or something like that. There will be links to video drills you can do. Drills that are going to help you with your ball control, with your dribbling, and I'm also going to put some videos that can help you with your confidence and mentality down there as well. Okay, so we've gone over to two areas I think will help you the most, dribbling and ball control. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to test this out. I don't want you just to take what I say and believe it. I want you to actually test this out. So for the next two weeks, I want you to work. Pick one of the drills for each area that I'm providing you in the description. One for ball control, one for dribbling, and choose a confidence one as well. There might only be one, but, you know, choose one if there's more than one, um, and I want you to do them every single day for one week, okay, or, or two weeks, to make it two weeks, that's better, two weeks, okay, you can take a day off in, in those weeks, so do it for 12 days, um, like six days in a break, six days in a break, okay, and it doesn't even have to be long, this could take you 15 minutes in all honesty, this does not need to take a long time, but I want you to do it for two weeks, I want to put you to put all of your effort in it, and I want you to try, you know, try as hard as you can, give 100%. And in two weeks, I want you to contact me and tell me how much it's helped your game. For some of you, maybe it won't. But I am like 99.9% .9 sure that if any one of you goes out, practices like the drills for ball control and dribbling, and does it every single day committed, 100% committed, every single day for two weeks, that you will see improvements in your game. I almost guarantee it, okay? Um, so... Let me know if you want to do that in the comments. Um, I definitely want to hear from you. Uh, definitely, you can just comment on the video and let me know as well. But that's how confident I am if you work every single day on these areas, how much better you can become. You're going to surprise yourself at how much better you can become if you practice these areas every single day for as little as two weeks. Two weeks isn't a long time. Okay, so that is my challenge to you. I want you, absolutely want you to be practicing these things every single day. And I don't want you just to watch this video and go, that's not going to work. And I don't want you to watch this video and go, that's going to work too. I want you to actually see for yourself, actually test these things out. I actually want you to take action because it's no good, like I said, when I was describing the players who had contacted me and told me how much better they had gotten from taking action. It's because they took action that they got better. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to actually see what can happen when you start being proactive and taking action and putting in a little bit of work. And the thing is, you'll start loving the work. You'll start loving the practices. You'll start loving how much better you're becoming. Okay, so before we wrap this video up, I just want to touch on confidence one last time and really explain to you that the mental side of your game is at least 50% of your game. It's that important. Sometimes I consider it even more important than the physical attributes because if you don't get your confidence and mentality under control, you're not going to be able to express your physical attributes anyway. I mean, you could be the most skilled. I mean, actually... Every single player probably knows that one guy on their team or one girl on their team or just one player on their team that's so skillful, that can score amazing goals in practice, like who's really good in practice, right? Everyone knows that player who's amazing in training, who's just sensational, like they just dominate everything. They, they, they know the step over, they know the Maradona, they're so skillful, they score amazing goals whatsoever. Then they get in a game and they don't. They don't do it, they don't play well, they don't, obviously, they're not playing as well as they could. The reason for this is usually confidence. So even if you have the ability, you need to develop the confidence or, you know, you're going to be stuck. That is why it's so important. So make sure you check out the videos that, um, that I provided for confidence as well. And make sure you really take your confidence seriously. This means whenever you, you go into a match, seriously believe that you are going to play well. You're going to shine. You're going to be the best player on the pitch. You're going to have an amazing game when you step off that. By the time you step off that pitch, you have had an amazing game. Whenever you have a goal-scoring opportunity, really embody the feeling of, I'm going to score. You can't just think it. You have to feel it. You have to really feel in every fiber of your being that, yes, I'm going to score. Even if you miss, you need to keep going with that feeling. Every time you go to pass, you need to feel the same way. Every time you go for a slide tackle, you have to believe you're going to win the ball. Every time you enter a game, you have to believe you're going to win. And you need to, to develop that confidence or else these physical things I'm talking about, these the ball control, the dribbling, everything, um, aren't going to work as well. Yes, still work on the ball control, dribbling, and skill moves and everything else. Um, but make sure you're also working on your confidence because the last thing I want is for you guys to get really, really, really good at your ball control, dribbling, and everything and then not be able to express it, and then not be able to actually deliver and show um, your ability 
when it comes game time. Okay, so I want to just mention that at the end because it's so important that you develop your confidence, guys. I want you to be not just great players that can stand out. I want you to be confident players that do stand out, okay? All right, guys, a bit longer than expected. I got really into this one again. Sometimes when I get really passionate about an idea or video, it goes on a little bit longer, but as long as you guys are okay with slightly longer videos like this, then I will keep making them. Once again, th guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share if um, I share this video. And again, actually, I just said subscribe, but if you're new, make sure you subscribe. We release four to five videos every week to help you as a player. Let me know if you uh, enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Remember, check out the videos in the description down below. Thanks again guys so much for 5,000 subscribers it really means so much to me um, and I, I really couldn't be more grateful right now so thank you so much let's get on to 10,000 let's start making our way more and spreading this channel to more players and I'll see you on the next video